Hello everybody and welcome to your next um, Allegro Volume 2 tutorial on platforms. Now before we even start anything, um, I want you to download something called Notepad++. You type it in there, um, you click the first um, link, and notice notepad++.org, and click that. And then go to download, and download the current version and just download the installer now the reason why I want you to download this is because when you're making the collision map and stuff like that it makes it easier and it has a lot of neat functions to make your life easier um, like the find and replace function which we're going to be using in this tutorial hopefully um, also if you want to get into web development this is a really good tool to use when you get into web development and if you do other things with text editors or some advanced stuff this is a really good thing to have and it's not a really big file so that's what I used to make my map file and you could do this um, with the notepad if you want but it'll make your life a bit more difficult okay so anyways uh, let me minimize that okay so I I said this is a, a complicated part of the code right now. We are not focusing on this this tutorial. This tutorial we're we're loading the collision map, and if we have time, we'll get into this. But I doubt we will have time. Okay, so now let's go into our collision.cpp, and uh, I'm putting your um constructor um constructor and your destructor, and now let's uh put our init our init function and let me scroll down for you okay collision update and our draw and to the bitmap sorry Okay, something just went wrong. Okay, anyways, bitmap, buffer, and that's it. So now let's do the load collision map function. Remember, it's a constant char file name. Okay, so I remember if you never initialize these stuff last tutorial, make sure you initialize them. So now we're going to be using the fstream, and this is going to be very similar to what our load map in in our map class. Basically, it's the exact same thing. So fstream, open file, and the file name. And if open file is, sorry, is underscore open, then get the map size x and the map size y and then while the file is open or bef um, while not open file why well, I can't type today while not EOF then we're gonna get the contents of the file and open file um, call Wait, what did I name it again? Call map file. So this collision map file. So call map file load counter x load counter y. And we're gonna increment load counter x plus one. And let me scroll down for you guys. So if load counter x is greater than or equal to map size x then load counter x equals to 0 and load counter y is incremented by 1 and after it says if open file is open after that just set load counter x and load counter y to 0 and we need an else statement to see if it doesn't find the file so if it doesn't find the file we're just going to put an allegro message for now Normally you would close the window, but we'll just have a message saying cannot find the collision map file. Simple enough. 
So if you do not understand what I just did there, then you need to go back and watch my map tutorials when I was loading the map. Because it's, it is the exact same code. The only thing that's different here is that it says collision map file rather than just a map file. So simple enough, now you may be asking why are we loading a map file? There are so many ways to do collision in games. There's no right or wrong way about going about it. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. And right now, we're just going to be working with text files to get you in the sense of being able to work with them because they're easier to work with. And when you change something in your map file, it's it's annoying. If you have your map file in here and say you have like 10 different maps, your code is going to be so long, just full of numbers and stuff. So it's good to store them in text files. Also, if you have them in an the, uh, external text file, you don't have to keep on recompiling every single time you change something in your tech um in your map or whatever. Whenever you change something in your map when it's um when it's an actual text file, it doesn't recompile. It will just run right away and it helps for faster production time. So anyways, uh let's open Notepad Plus Plus. It should be done downloading for you already. So sorry, this is some web programming stuff. Uh so let's K. Okay. So let me okay let me actually okay let me close everything close all but this okay so this is our map file that we had before so remember the one is the sky and the two was the grass and the twenty by fifteen is saying how um how big our map is so let's create a new file and we are gonna copy all this okay copy and paste so basically in our collision map file it's gonna contain ones and zeros okay just like binary the one is gonna sim um sim um like signify that something is solid that means you cannot go through it and then if it's a zero that means it's not solid and it means you can go through it so this is what I was saying that's gonna make it easier notepad plus plus so highlight all well actually you don't even need to do that just click control h okay so the sky isn't going to be solid because we so we want to change all the ones to zeros so all you have to do is click control h and you say find what so we're going to look for all the ones and we're going to place it with zero okay because it means that it's not solid and we're going to click replace all see that's easy enough close the window Easy enough, it changes all the ones to zeros. Now, if it was in regular Notepad, you'd have to individually change them, and that gets annoying when you create new maps and stuff. So this way is an easier method of going about it, and it's for faster production time. That's why I told you to download it. So again, we're gonna click Control H. We're gonna look for two, and we're gonna place it for. We're gonna replace it with one. And we're gonna say replace all, and that's it. Now remember how it was, um, how I had 20 by 15, right? Um, before we changed all the ones to zero, and now we changed all the twos to one. So note that it's gonna change all this too. So all I have to do is just change this 20 to, um, 20 by 15. That's all I have to do. So this is basically saying that this is a ground. So the ground is solid, and this is a sky, and the sky is not solid. So that's all it's doing. And we're gonna save this as um call map one uh, um meaning collision map one. It's gonna save as a text file. And um just for our knit function, we're gonna set load counter x and load counter y to zero. And if you really don't know what I'm doing here, it just sets all the variables equal to the number you put here. So it's gonna equal everything to zero. If you haven't figured that out already. And we're gonna put collision, sorry, collision, load collision map, and we're gonna put call map one dot txt, and that's it for this tutorial. Um, next tutorial, we're gonna be implementing gravity and doing the collision with the ground, and then we'll get into collision with the platforms and all that stuff. Well, that should all be implemented into one tutorial. So thanks for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for next time. So, bye.